A chopstick hug. That's the remarkable milestone SpaceX is gearing up to achieve soon with the Starship, propelling the company toward full reusability. None other than Elon Musk, SpaceX's visionary leader, highlighted this exciting prospect following the conclusion of Flight 6. So what did Musk unveil about this groundbreaking mission? When can we expect the first ship-catching attempt, and why is it so critical? Moreover, how is SpaceX preparing to make it a reality? Let's explore these questions in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Flight 6 marked another milestone in SpaceX's journey toward revolutionizing spaceflight. With both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship upper stage achieving controlled vertical landings, however, the mission fell short of its loftier goals, including a ship catch, and surprisingly, a Super Heavy catch attempt was absent. Despite these omissions, the successful landings are a critical step towards SpaceX's overarching objective developing a fully reusable rocket system capable of drastically reducing the cost of access to space. Central to this ambitious effort is the goal of catching the Starship upper stage, or ship, using the Mechazilla Tower arms. Following the successful ocean landing of Ship 31, or S-31, SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk took to social media to announce the mission's success. Successful ocean landing of Starship. We will do one more ocean landing of the ship. If that goes well, then SpaceX will attempt to catch the ship with the tower. This statement underscores SpaceX's methodical approach to testing and development, prioritizing incremental progress toward achieving one of the most challenging aspects of Starship's reusability. Musk also hinted that this highly anticipated milestone could occur early next year, adding excitement to the company's future plans. The upcoming Flight 7 will play a pivotal role in SpaceX's testing program. This mission is expected to showcase Starship V2, the next iteration of the spacecraft featuring significant upgrades to its heat shield and flaps. Rather than pushing for a catch attempt, SpaceX plans to conduct another controlled ocean landing. This cautious strategy allows engineers to validate the new hardware under the extreme conditions of atmospheric reentry, without introducing the added complexity of catching the ship. Such a step is essential for ensuring safety, gathering valuable data, and refining the design before moving forward. While the lack of a catch attempt might seem like a setback to some, Flight 7 still promises plenty of excitement. If it launches before the year's end, it'll be the fifth Starship flight of 2024. A remarkable achievement considering the program's relatively slow pace last year. Preparations for the mission are already well underway. Ship 33 has completed cryogenic testing and is now being outfitted with engines for static fire tests. Meanwhile, the booster for the mission, likely Booster 14 or Booster 15, is progressing steadily toward readiness. On the regulatory front, FAA approvals are expected to follow the streamlined processes established for earlier flights, supported by ongoing reforms within the agency. Looking ahead, Flight 8 could be the mission that finally attempts to catch the ship. Scheduled as the second Starship V2 flight, this mission could take place as early as January or February next year, assuming all goes well with Flight 7. With Launch Pad B operational, and SpaceX's Raptor engine reliability steadily improving, the prospect of witnessing the first ship-catching attempt feels tantalizingly close. Just a few months away, achieving this milestone would mark a turning point for the Starship program, bringing SpaceX closer to realizing its vision of fully reusable spaceflight. The potential of Starship goes far beyond catching its stages. This groundbreaking vehicle is designed to revolutionize space exploration and commercial spaceflight with applications ranging from deploying massive satellite constellations to transporting humans and cargo to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Its reusability and capacity to carry large payloads make it a game charge changer for reducing the costs and expanding the possibilities of space travel. SpaceX's meticulous approach to development underscores the complexity and ambition of its goals. Each flight builds on the lessons learned from its predecessors, inching closer to redefining what humanity can achieve in space. While setbacks and cautious testing are part of the journey, the rapid progress of the Starship program continues to captivate space enthusiasts worldwide. Are you ready to witness the first ship catch? Share your predictions and join the conversation by saying, let's do it in the comments. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates as SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of innovation and space exploration. The countdown to the next chapter in this groundbreaking journey has already begun. Looking ahead, the task of catching the ship holds immense significance for SpaceX's vision of full reusability. Achieving this milestone will accelerate Starship's launch cadence and drastically lower costs. As Gwyn Shotwell recently announced, SpaceX aims to conduct up to 400 Starship flights over the next four years, a goal heavily reliant on the success of this reusability initiative. Catching ship will also pave the way for groundbreaking missions such as the development of an orbital refilling system. Musk emphasized the importance of this innovation, stating, A fully reusable rocket with orbital refilling is the critical breakthrough needed to make life multiplanetary. The system's construction is expected to begin as early as March next year and will play a crucial role in the Artemis program's mission to return humans to the moon by 2026. Beyond the moon, SpaceX's ambitions extend further. Musk's response to Bill Nelson's congratulatory tweet, To the moon and beyond, underscores the larger vision. After mastering the ship catch, SpaceX plans to build the Starship HLS, conduct an uncrewed mission to the moon by early 2026, and launch a crewed mission shortly after. Musk also hopes to send an uncrewed mission to Mars within two years, and follow it with a human mission in the next four years, all dependent on achieving full reusability. However, there's much work ahead to realize these goals. The issues with the launch tower that led to the aborted ship catch attempt must be addressed, necessitating significant upgrades to both the tower and the orbital launch mount. Catching Super Heavy successfully on the next flight will be a critical prerequisite for advancing to ship catching attempts. In the immediate term, SpaceX needs to analyze the data from Flight 6 and apply it to Flight 7's hardware upgrades. This flight will mark the debut of the Starship V2, and careful adjustments will be essential particularly in overcoming challenges like developing a fully reusable heat shield, which Musk has identified as a major technical hurdle. Preparations for Flight 7 are already underway. The mission will likely include catching Super Heavy with the Mechazilla arm for the second time while performing another controlled vertical landing for the ship. This success will set the stage for catching both stages in subsequent flights. Additionally, the completion of Launch Pad B, expected by January, will provide critical support for handling the increasing launch cadence and catching operations. The coming months, particularly Flight 7, will be pivotal in SpaceX's journey toward catching both stages of Starship. Let's stay tuned and see how SpaceX rises to meet these challenges. And now, let's turn to an exciting update regarding Hera, the payload launched aboard the Falcon 9 during last month's return to flight mission. Hera, part of ESA's ambitious asteroid study program, has reached a significant milestone on its journey to investigate NASA's asteroid impact experiment. According to ESA, Hera recently performed a series of crucial orbital adjustments. On November 6th, the spacecraft conducted a 13-minute burn following an earlier 1-hour and 40-minute burn on October 23rd. Francesco Castellini from ESA's Flight Dynamics team remarked, We are now analyzing Hera's new trajectory following the second burn. It appears to have gone very well. He also noted that a minor trajectory correction maneuver, mere tens of centimeters, is planned for November 21st to ensure Hera's precision for its upcoming Mars flyby. These adjustments have significantly boosted Hera's velocity. The second burn added 20 meters per second to its speed, building on the 146 meters per second from the first burn. With a total velocity increase of 166 meters per second, Hera is now set to reach Mars by March of 2025, Leveraging the planet's gravity to reach its target, the asteroid Didymos, in 2026. Didymos and its companion Dimorphos hold particular scientific interest. Dimorphos was famously struck by NASA's DART mission in September of 2022. In a groundbreaking asteroid deflection experiment, Hera will follow up by assessing the long-term impact of DART's deflection on Dimorphos, providing critical data on asteroid redirection techniques. This research is essential for planetary defense, potentially offering solutions to protect Earth from hazardous asteroid impacts in the future akin to the event that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. Adding to its accomplishments, Hera has already captured and sent back its first images of Earth and the Moon. Though these were thermal images and the celestial bodies appeared as small dots due to the vast distance, the data is a, an encouraging start for further exploration. Hera's mission is particularly notable as it was launched under challenging circumstances on October 7th during a period of regulatory delays for Falcon 9. 
Thanks to SpaceX's expertise, the mission succeeded and Hera is performing exceptionally well. Stay tuned for more updates on this fascinating journey as Hera continues its path toward unlocking the secrets of asteroid redirection and deep space exploration. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.